Good everyone, it's your boy, uh, Kiv Nakai. I am looking rather nice today. Uh, I'm trying a new look. I'm trying the sausage look. Hope you guys like it. Today, uh, I'm going to do a little test of this recording setup because I've never tried this setup before and I think it's quite interesting. So I've got a camera there. I've got camera right there. You can probably see it just here. So we're going to shoot today the M14 rifle. Uh, this was mainly used uh, quite early on by the US military. It's quite a it's quite a nice gun. It's quite a reliable gun. Um, it was in service for quite a bit, you know. So we're going to shoot this today. We've got our. Oops. Before that, of course, we have to do the sound test. If you heard that, then things are working okay. Right. Let's go ahead and load the magazine. Oh, first. Should do that because then, voila. Let's put the magazine in there. Make sure that the round is chambered. You can see that. Yep. Now let's go ahead and switch over to this camera. Okay. Now we can go ahead and shoot our target. Whoops. Safety's on. I have amazing shooting skills. I am an absolute sharpshooter. Probably not. It's up to you guys what you think. I'll take the magazine out, and just chuck it. Anywhere, it's just over there. And put another magazine in. Let's shoot it one more time. Alright. You see, bullets in the chamber. Ready to go. Let's switch over to here and let's shoot one more time. And we're out. Look at that. So. That was a test of the equipment using a trusty friend, the M14 rifle. Thank you so much for watching. Good day. Ah, but you thought I was done yet. No, no. We have one more thing to try out. And that is, first of all, I will introduce you to my good friend. Oops. The... Oh. I don't actually have a name for it. Hmm. Tell you what. Tell me in the comments what I should name this. Just to get a... Oops. God. Just to get a good look at it. Tell me what you think this should be named. In the meantime, uh, we have one more thing to try, and that is this thing right here. This is a rail can. It snaps to a rail, which I have made just here. This wasn't part of the original design. This here, this was part of the original design, but not this. This is the rail can. So I've made a little thing here that lines up perfectly with the sight. Let me actually put it over here. Lines up perfectly with the sight. Okay, so first and foremost, we've already done a sound check, so we don't need to do it again. Let's put the magazine in. Bullet is in the round. Sorry, in the chamber, you can see that. Uh, safety. Let's put it on a single shot first. Okay. So, switch over to this camera first. Make sure, yep, you can see it just fine. Okay. So, now let's switch over to the rail camera. Whoops. Interesting. You're not supposed to see all the way up there. Hello. But, uh, much better. Okay. Uh, also, keep in mind that I can't really aim. Oh, I can use my second eye. OK. 
Okay. Okay, so we're out of ammo on our first magazine. You can see just there. Oops, let me move in a bit more. You can see just there. Out of ammo. Let's throw that away. Okay, so now we've got another ammo, uh, another magazine. Let's put it in. This time we'll fire on fully automatic. So let's switch back to our rail camera. Ugh, okay, you just give it a second. It. All right, because I have to use a button every time. Okay. Whoops. What are we doing? Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. We forgot to check the breach to make sure that everything was locked, loaded, and ready to go. So, we're now firing on fully automatic. Let's go. Inbound. Okay. So that was the rail camera. If that induced motion sickness, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, and also this extends out. But anyway, there's a test of the rail camera. So let's lay our gun down here again. Tell me what we should name this gun. And I've got another really good gun. I want to show you guys because I think it is my magnum opus with my customization with my rail customization stay tuned for that in the meantime thank you for watching adieu goodbye